Hey YouTube, it's Davina. I'm just coming to you on wash day. I just thought I'd show you my uh, wash routine. It actually should have been retightening day, but I had to put that off for two weeks. So um, I'll come back to you with the, another quick update once I actually go get it retightened. But I thought I just would show you really quickly how I'm going to wash my hair. What I'm going to do is it's really itchy and dandruffy, I think, just because it's getting cold. You know how that affects our hair. I'm going to use the... Uh, Jamaican Mango and Lime, the Tingle Shampoo. Um, it's kind of thick and heavy, I think, for my hair. So, But because I'm having a lot of itchiness and dandruff right now, I'm going to dilute this. I'm just going to put it in this old bottle that I've been rinsing out. And I'm going to put probably mostly water and just a little bit of the shampoo because, again, it is so heavy. Um, I had tried it once just full strength on my hair but see how I don't know if you can see how thick and gel like that is coming out of there is very heavy so I'm going to do that then I'm going to add some water just to dilute it because I want to have the effects of it, but again, I don't know. It just seems heavy. And you know how we are with our sister locks about slippage. I don't want to have too much of that. It's not like super conditioning or moisturizing, so I don't think that will cause the slippage. I don't know. It's just the product, I guess. The heaviness of the product, but yeah, so see. You saw how a little bit of shampoo I had. It's still some down there. I'm going to finish shaking it up. Once the bubbles settle, I'll probably go on and add the rest of that water. It's that thick. And um, I'm going to mostly concentrate on my scalp with this. And then I'm going to get a moisturizing shampoo and do a quick wash down my locks. I'm probably just a little VO5 moisture milk shampoo. Um, just because they're pretty dry too. And yeah, when I get started, I'll be back to you. See you in a minute. So see, this is what I'm doing. I'm just making parts, putting the shampoo in there, just getting my scalp really good. And then, you know, I'll run some water through it and kind of bring it down through my locks. And then I'll come back when I'm done with that and using the moisturizing shampoo. See you in a minute. Okay, so I finished with the Jamaican shampoo. And I looked at my hair. My scalp feels really good, but I still feel like I have a bit of a buildup, like right at the root scalp part so what I'm gonna do go to my old faithful this right here this suave daily clarifying gets everything out so I was trying to avoid using it just because of the color I didn't really want it to strip it but hey I have build up and I can deal with the color at a later date I'd rather get my hair and scalp clean so I'm gonna do a quick wash of this um, after I do that then I'm gonna use the VO5 moisturizing shampoo I'm not gonna do like an intense wash I just put a little bit in my hand run it down my hair rinse it out right away um, that's just to give my hair a little bit of moisture keep it from being so brittle um, I did that the last time I washed and I had pretty good results being that it's cold out winter time I need something a little extra so I'll be back after I do those shampoos and I'll let you know what I'm gonna do as far as styling my hair Hey, just came back to say, if you have buildup, give that suave clarifying a try because as I'm rinsing my hair, it's really shameful how cloudy the water is. And it's not my color that's coming out. You can just tell it's rinsing out any buildup I had, dry skin, dandruff, any of that. So it really does keep your hair um, clarified and deep clean. And because it does that so well, the reason why afterwards I have to use that moisture uh, shampoo because it really takes everything out of your hair. But I just wanted to come back real quick and say that. Okay, I'm all finished drowning myself in the sink. That's what I feel like. But anyway, here's my hair. Um, my color didn't fare too badly. I got build up out because it was just like a white film in there and as you can see hopefully you can tell 
And look how much my hair has grown since I colored it. You see that dark? I tell you it's growing like weeds. I tell you. But, so yeah, this is it. I normally have a t-shirt. You all know me in t-shirts. But a towel is quicker to get to. So, here it is. Trying to fix it no better. You can see my length, maybe. I'm at a funny angle, so. But if I stand up straight, that's actually past my collarbone. I don't know if you can appreciate that or not, so let me pull that up. Hope to. It's on my laptop, so. See that? Past my collarbone on that side. Same over here, past the collarbone, and then the front. Get it from directly in the middle. It actually comes, it's like right at starting to go under my chin. It's not like wrapping under, but it's right there where it's just past chin length, starting to wrap under. And then from the side, directly from the side instead of the back, that those first two are from the back. That's see my collarbone, just past there. Same thing on this side. So. Show you the back. I don't know if I can reach it. Well, it's not quite where I can hold on to it when if I'm standing straight, but I hope you saw that. I don't know. My camera's at a weird angle. But yeah, so it's doing pretty good. I'm going to finish towel drying it. And I think I'm going to Miss Candy Girl gave me the idea. She said she did the flat twist. I normally, you know, I did the corn roll style. I think I'm going to do the flat twist because that'll be quicker. And instead of going straight back, I'll probably do them, you know, sides down, then back in the back. And uh, probably send it as a dryer for a little bit because it takes my hair forever to dry. Um, but before I do that, this has never left my staples. It is the infusium leave-in treatment. Remember, I put that just a little bit on my hair after uh, every wash. And sometimes I'll put it in a water bottle with a smidge of tea tree oil and spray all over. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that. And to actually twist, flat twist my hair, I'm going to use my trusty 100% lemon juice. I'm going to put that in a spray bottle with water. I'm going to add... Just a smidge of the Jamaica, Jamaican Mango and Lime No More Itch Girl Spray. Just for a little moisture factor. It's not really greasy, but just by itself, it's heavy um, because it does have mineral oil, olive oil, um, glycerin. So by itself, it's too heavy for my sister locks. Um, but yeah, I'm going to mix it with water and a little bit of the lemon juice. Just so the lemon juice can have some moisturizing factors because, you know, it's drying, but it helps your hair to go ahead and lock. So that's why I continue to use the lemon juice to try and prevent slippage and to um, get these babies to go ahead and fully lock. So, yeah, I'll come back in a little bit um, and show you my twisting, show you when I'm done twisting. One of those times, but I'll see you in a minute. So I'm going to start uh, flat twisting my hair. I don't know if I said I got this idea from Miss Candy Girl or not, um, but that's where I got it from. So I'm going to I put just like a very little amount of the um, Jamaica spray, mango and lime spray. Then I put lemon juice to here. The rest is water. And I put some of the infusion in a bottle with the water and spray that all over before doing this. I didn't put any just regular oil because the Jamaican mango and lime spray has oil in it. So I don't want to add too much. And then you just know how to do a flat twist. 
down to your head, to your scalp. And I like these types of styles, like the cornrow and the flat twist, because it helps to, I like the, I've said it before, I like the full look, but sometimes when I have to go past my retightening schedule, it gets like extra fuzzy and puffy. And so if I do this, corn roll or flat twist, it helps to prevent that. So yeah. Now there's the one flat twist. really have, I'm not trying to do it, the flat twist any certain way besides straight down. I just don't want to make them, you know, too big or fat so that some of my hair will be crinkly and some won't, you know, so. It's mostly what I concentrate on. The parts aren't perfect, but let's see. Not a perfect part, but it won't be too big in some spots and again just spray down a section of hair with my mixture and then do a flat twist spread off two sections snag that I can't cut out of the way. So I have to be careful that it doesn't pull on the lock. And then when I get to the end, I just give a extra little spritz and then do a regular two strand twist on the end. Swirl it around on my fingers so they stay. And there you go. So yeah, I will continue to do that and I'll be back. So I've been sitting under this. It's almost all the way dry. Just gonna take them down and see. I think I'm gonna put a little oil on my hands. I did have some right there. I don't know where it went. See, loose, wavy. Yeah. So, when it's all down, I'll come back. So, here it is, all taken down. It's wavy. Not super curly, but it should last for a few days. I like it. Turned out cute. Yep. Earrings are cute. I like those. They have uh, a peacock on them. My favorites. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.